Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to learn how to make some fondant's baby's breath, also known as gypsophilia. So I've got some modelling paste, some flour and modelling paste. This one is Smart Flex and you're just going to roll it out until you can see through the paste. Needs to be quite thin for these flowers. I've got uh, a chrysanthemum uh, cutter and we're just going to cut out some of those uh, flowers. Now they're quite big um, bunches really when you see them fully so I've done I think about six or seven try to make sure that you do um, odd numbers where you can and so we're just going to take a small balling tool and we're just going to frill the edges now the reason I've used a small one is we want to keep those individual little petals at the end if you use a larger tool you're going to lose that shape and then we're just going to cut them in half and then fold them and then we're going to add a little bit of water and mark in half again and then fold it over and this is going to give us the bud so you can see there it's quite dainty now I've got a candle and I'm just going to light this I'm going to use it to burn the wire and then the wire will go through the flower and it will only take a couple of minutes to dry so instead of waiting overnight for it to dry um, this is just the way that I prefer to do all of my wired flowers because it's it just saves me time and then you're just gonna pop the wire through and pinch the end now I'm aware that this bit was off camera so I will just show you how to do this again so you're gonna twist once the flowers on there and then pull off the excess and just push in the petals all in together and that's what you should end up with once you've done it. So we're going to do this to all of the petals that we've got here. So a little bit of water, marking it with a knife to cut it in half. And then a little bit more water and again cutting it in half again. And then you're going to fold the tip of your wire over to make a little hook. And you're going to burn that in the candle just for a little bit. And then you're just going to fold it over and thread it through the middle and just pull it down. Now the heat will make the fondant quite sticky inside and then obviously because it dries quite quickly that was what will stop it from pulling down. And don't be worried if you could see the black bit of the um, wire because you can push the petals to cover that but also later on when we come to dust when you dust it, that bit yellow, it looks more like it's the centre of the flower. Now the good thing about making these for your flowers is not a lot of people know that baby's breath uh, is not actually supposed to go on cakes itself because it can cause stomach problems. So having a fondant option is always a good idea. We're going to make some little buds now, so just a tiny little bit of fondant. And we're just going to twist that on to the top of a wire. You don't need to hook the wire because it's just such a small amount of fondant but you're going to burn it the same way that we did before and then just twisting it down just to make it uh, tight onto the wire. Now I didn't have any green wire, um, I only had white. Uh, I advise that you do use green wire. This one was I think a 28 gauge, I will put a link of everything down below. Um, but the green wire will just mean that when it comes to taping, you don't have to tape all the way up. Um, so I've got some green dust and I'm just going to dust around the base of the flowers. These flowers are too small to be putting um, any of the calyx on, so I just prefer to dust it. I think it just gives it a, as natural look as what you can get um, for something that's going to go on, on a wedding cake or a celebration cake without spending excessive amounts of time. So I've got my tape. Um, if I had green wire and I wasn't required to tape the whole thing, I would start taping around halfway down. Um, but because I need to cover that white, I've done the whole uh, wire in the green tape. And you're gonna cover all of the ones that you've done in there. So you can see I've covered them um, up until where I needed to start bonding them together and then you're just going to pop them together um, now they don't need to be in any kind of uniform they don't need to be taped at the top um, because if you look at the actual plant it's quite open 
and so when you're taping you can tape on clusters you can put more than one on at the same time you can bend them in place they can all be at the same height they can be at different heights however it is that you feel would best suit the design that you're going for um, throw some buds in there as well I like to do um, odd numbers so I've got three buds um, and then it's up to you how many of the flowers that you put on there now I would tend to put them more all at the same level so that once you put it on a cake you can spread it out a little bit um, and it's not coming too far off the cake but again it, it totally depends on the design that you're going for and again if you had the green wire obviously the tops of your flowers wouldn't look as bulky as what mine do um, it's just that I got asked to do this tutorial by one of my subscribers and at the time I didn't have any wire I did try to order them in but obviously because we've been on um, lockdown for a while my usual place didn't have any wires in uh, so you're going to trim off the excess at the bottom and then pull out the flowers just until you like the look of them um, you could re-dust over the bottom you can see where there's a little bit of white showing on mine um, and then next what we're going to do is we're just going to put the centre in so I've just got a little bit of yellow dust um, and I'm just going to go through and just pick the centre of the flower it doesn't have to be dead centre it could be slightly off to the side and I'm just going to pop in some of the yellow powder I didn't realise that they had uh, this sort of like yellow shading in the middle but when I was looking at pictures of them you can see actually in the middle they do have a slight yellow tint you could uh, make bigger bunches of this to put throughout the, the cake they're quite quick to make really um, because you know it's just a matter of frilling and cutting out and then folding and obviously with the method with the candle the insides dry really really quickly so that you're able to tape it up within the same day same morning um if you have any questions or you need any help on it you could comment down below you could send me a message on our uh community support group which is cake nation academy um i popped them on a cake that i already had i do have a tutorial for the birchwood and for the roses as well and i'll put them on the screen at the end I hope you liked today's video, if you did please give a big thum thumbs up, leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe and if you'd like to see more of my videos hit the links on the screen now. Thanks for watching.